I'm pretty happy this afternoon. We just received this Chaos Bowie in, and I've been waiting a long time for it. I've been training with aluminum versions of this for about four years now, and we finally got it into production, and I'm pretty excited. Our Chaos Bowie has a 10 and a half inch long handle. From, from here to here is 10 and a half inches. At the widest point, it's just a shade over two inches wide. The blade is five millimeters thick, and it's made out of SK5 high carbon steel. That's the equivalent of 1080 carbon steel. And we heat treat it to 56, 57 RC hardness. So it's hard, but a tough, hard steel. So it's quite strong and durable. It's saber ground. So you have a big wide blade bevel for great penetration when you're chopping and cutting and slicing. But also we have this un ground panel right here that's full thickness and width and that adds a lot of stiffness to the blade so it has lots of good potential for thrusting as well. Each knife comes with a nice false edge and I already sharpened mine and put a false edge on mine. I just made it a little bit sharper and cut what we call cut it through so it's all set up for back cuts. So you can modify these very easily and add whatever touches you like. Each knife comes with a solid aircraft grade aluminum handle and this adds a lot to the knife. First of all, this section here, you know whenever you put a guard on a knife you wonder about its durability. Is it going to loosen up? Is it going to rattle? Is it going to twist around on the tang? Um, this precludes all of those worries. This guard won't twist and rattle and make noise. It's there to stay, which I really like. The tang of the knife goes all the way down to here, and um, it's bolted in two places, and then it's got this awesome D-ring guard with this reinforcing pillar right here. And then your fingers, your index fingers go here, and then your ring finger and little finger go through there, and that pillar goes right between them. Now, what this extra pillar does right here, what this adds, it adds reinforcement for the D-ring and also helps your fingers from sliding around inside. So it stops your hand from going forward or backwards. When you're making a, a big chopping stroke, you know, so there's centrifugal force at work trying to pull the knife out of your hand and this D-ring guard with that reinforcing pillar pretty much preclude you losing the knife from the forces of centrifugal force. It's almost impossible for it to pull it out of your hand. So the, your grip retention with this knife is just phenomenal. You're not going to lose it involuntarily. You know, you're going to have to make a decision to let go. It's not going to come flying out of your hands. You're not going to lose it accidentally. It'd be very, very unlikely. And that again, that D-ring guard protects the fingers from incoming blows. Um, in hand-to-hand -hand combat, especially on the battlefield, you don't know what kind of weapons are going to be swung and used against you. And so you could be bit, struck with a shovel, the butt of a rifle, you don't know. And uh, lots of times you want to block or parry with your blade, but sometimes you misjudge and you land on the D-ring and that gives a lot of protection. I know when I'm sparring with a saber a lot of times, if I don't judge the incoming blow perfectly, sometimes I'll put my whole hand into it. And when you have this D-ring guard that precludes you from being cut, it's a huge advantage. One of the things I really enjoyed sparring with this for the last four years is that D-ring guard gave me a huge measure of protection. And you can learn to use it. I didn't think at first you could, but after working with it for a number of months, I found that after a while you intuitively learn to turn your hand and pick up uh, blows coming at your hand and form with this D-ring guard and just divert them away or you can absor absorb them. And the way you hold it, you don't hold it like this and hammer grip. You hold it like you do a saber with the fingers and the thumb like so. And that allows your wrist to turn back and forth very easily. And it's real facile and supple, the motions that you can make twisting that very quickly. So that's something that you can learn to do and use this knife to its full potential. At the end, you have this machined high carbon steel skull crushing pommel. 
That's not a piece of aluminum. It's a separate piece of high carbon steel I put on there so that you can strike full power blows with that skull crushing pommel. See that D-ring and this pommel protect the whole bottom of your hand from making impact. So you can hit as hard as you possibly can without fear of smashing your hand into something. Same thing if you, it, it's more advantageous for you momentarily to punch with the knife, you can use this D guard to hit with too. This isn't designed necessarily though to be brass knuckles. This is a retention and shield primarily and the impact abilities of this D-ring D guard are third or fourth down the line. The main thing is it's an awesome shield for your hand and it keeps your hand in control of the blade. The blade is what you really want to get in use. This is what does the most amount of damage is that fearsome Bowie blade. It really is cool. Uh, it comes sharp. I wouldn't say that it's razor, razor sharp. I'm just being intellectually honest. But it comes rough shaving. It will rough shave. So it rough shaves, but when you have a knife that weighs a pound and a half, you don't always want a razor, razor, razor sharp edge because that edge has to stand up to impact. So too thin an edge or too high polished of an edge or too razor, razor sharp of an edge might nick or ding or bend over. So we made the edge appropriate for the size and the power of the knife. So you can still easily cut through one inch piece of rope, two inches of piece of rope, no problem with it. So it's plenty sharp, but I wouldn't say that it's as razor sharp as a vaquero out of the box, that's for sure. The balance point on the knife is right here, about a half inch in front of the guard. Now normally on a Bowie knife, I prefer about an inch to inch and a quarter. On this knife, we couldn't achieve that because of the heavy handle. And at a half inch, it's pr still pretty advantageous. You still have enough weight forward, so the edge leads pretty good, but it's very responsive, very lively in the hand still because of the heavy handle. So it moves really quickly, but it still has a lot of power and even cuts from the wrist have a lot of power. The, the widest part of the knife is about three quarters of an inch at the handle, so it's still pretty flat. And let me tell you about a super part of this knife. The sheath is pretty awesome. We've got a Secure X sheath with this belt loop that will take any size belt, and you can easily shorten this belt loop if you want to to fit the belt of your choosing. But what's cool about this knife is the price. This is 120 bucks. Can you imagine getting an almost a pound and a half a Bowie knife for $120. Map price is only $90 on this knife. That's a steal. I defy you to put $120 down on the table and say that this knife isn't worth every penny. I think you're going to be impressed with the Chaos Bowie by Cold Steel.